Because of its unusually extreme decoupling of pre-delay time from room size and decay time, the herb verb can be patched using feedback to make repeating echoes like a delay effect, but with unique flavor and modulation options. To achieve this, we will start by patching one of the herb verb's outputs to a mixer. I'm going to use the center channels of maths because they allow me to invert the signals, which can be useful with feedback patches. I've also molted this signal from the herb verb so that I can still monitor in stereo. Now I'm adding dummy cables to channels 1 and 4 to completely remove them from the sum, and patching the sum to the input of the herb verb, and patch our sound source to maths channel 2. Now what we are doing is sending the herb verb's output back into its input in an amount set by the Maths Channel 3 panel control. Because we don't hear reflections until the pre-delay time has passed, that control can be used to set the echo time. All the other controls work as usual. Shorter decay times are easier to hear, and as always with feedback, it is important to keep a close eye on the level. Setting channel 2 and channel 3 of maths to the same polarity results in more intense feedback. Higher decay and lower absorb settings also tend to have more intense results. For this dub style delay, I tend not to use the tempo input, but rhythmically related modulation can be very effective. Since the sound source is a loop from the morphogene, I'm going to use the EOSG to clock the tempi and patch small multiples of that clock to some herb verb parameters at various depths. There is more than one way to patch things like this. One idea would be to set the herb verbs mix to fully wet and mix the dry signal back in after the verb with a mold and a second mixer. This might make the feedback easier to handle. As always, this patch is a jumping off point for exploration. Please enjoy. Mm -hmm. 